talking about the candlesticks, he was talking about the light. Who had hold that light in his hand? In other words, he's telling us all the time, let our light so shine before men, that men may see our good works, to glorify our Father which is in heaven. And the second one said, and I know thou works, and thou labor, and thou patient, and have thou canst not bear them with or evil, which are evil. And thou hast tried them with said they are, are an apostle and are not, and has found them a liar. Jesus was trying to let us know that we're going to have false prophets everywhere. 
He said, those that call themselves a prophet. When he said call themselves a prophet, that means you're not a prophet. Amen? And the third verse said, and has borne and has patience, and for my name's sake, my name's sake has labor and has not fainted. He's saying that you have never gave up. Right. He said you had all the patience in the world. Mm -hmm. But we listen to this, this 12 verse. He said, nevertheless, I have somewhat against you because thou hast left thou first love. Mm -hmm. Jesus knows everything. Mm -hmm. He knew that they had left their first love a long time ago. Right. That's why he had to come back and write into these churches and let the churches know your first love got to go first. Yeah. The love of God got to be placed in your heart. Yeah. The Bible says, he that loved the Lord, he loved him. Amen. And he shall meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers or the water that bringeth forth fruit into God's season, right. not into our season. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against you. See, we, we, we ought to know that God knows everything. Right. He knows when, when, Ezekiel was, when Ezekiel was in the middle of the wheel. Uh -huh. He knows when Daniel was in a lion den. Yeah. He knows when the Hebrew boys was in the fire's furnace. He knows when Job was in trouble. Mm -hmm. And he told that old devil, you cannot touch Job. Mm -hmm. He said, because he belongs to me. And I want y'all, everybody to know that God, we all belongs to God. Yeah. Now we can pull ourselves away from God and dis dis disrespect, disrespect God, but we still belong to God. Yeah. Because why do I say we still belong to God? Because when God called the world into order, he's going to either say, get on the right hand side or get on the left hand side. You don't want God to say, I know you're not. So stay on the battlefield. We're working, striving, trying to make heaven our home. And we talk about love. The Bible says yeah. we must love you one another as I also love you. Yeah. Just think about what Jesus did. He sent his only begotten son into this world just to let us know how love's supposed to be. Yeah. He shed his, his blood for our, for our sins. Yeah. Yeah. God is good. Yeah. Jesus fed 5,000 people. Yeah. And he said, and Jesus and his disciples were tired. Jesus was so tired, y'all. Mm -hmm. They had to find a place where they could rest. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something. I'm going to show you how much the, how Jesus loved. Jesus was so tired, they looked for a place where they could rest for just for a little while. Uh -huh. But Jesus saw those people standing over by the seashore. Mm -hmm. And they got up in that old boat. Jesus went down the, the water. And you know what? Those people followed him on the seashore. Right. And he told his disciples, he said, you know what, boys? He said, we need to go and take care of these people. Mm -hmm. He was tired, but he stood down. He got out, they got out of the boat, and Jesus prayed, and he healed those people. But he was still tired. Mm -hmm. Boy. And he, when, he, when he healed them, he, the, the, the disciples asked him, uh, we need to send these people home. Mm -hmm. It's getting late in the evening. We need to send these people home. So they can go home and eat their dinner. Jesus said, what Jesus said? Jesus said, someone, see if someone got some food to eat. Mm -hmm. So they searched and they searched and they searched and they seen a little boy over there. And they went back and told Jesus that, that the little boy had two little fish and five loaves of bread. Oh, yeah. So Jesus said, Jesus ain't telling them, bring me the bread, bring me the fish. He said, bring me the boy. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what I'm saying. You got to do stuff decently and in order, yeah. order to respect God. Right. Right. Jesus said, "Bring me the little boy here." The little boy came, and he already had the fish in his hand, and Jesus blessed the fish. And after he blessed the fish, they said that was that was over basket basket loads that was full that was left over. It was twelve basket loads that was left over. And you tell me, God, all, all Jesus had to do is pray to God, and God will fix it. Yeah. And that's all we got to do. All we got to do is pray to Jesus, yeah. and Jesus will fix it. Yeah. 
You know, he's an on time God. He's a right now God. He's a lily of a valley God. Jesus is all right with me. I don't know about y'all. I don't know about y'all. And the disciples asked him, say, how, how we can feed so many of these people with so little, two little fish and five loaves of bread? How are we going to feed all these people? What Jesus said, what, what Jesus said, watch this. He said, don't worry, just, just watch this. Be, be patient. And when he prayed, the fish got bigger, the bread got bigger, and like I say, it had 12 baskets full that was left over. They were surprised. Yeah, Ain't God all right? Yeah. When God speaks his word, his word will go forth. Yeah. And then Jesus went walking on the water. Uh -huh. yeah. Jesus took his disciples to, the, to, to go on the other side of the water. Uh -huh. Then Jesus walked on the mountaintop and stood and gazed at the sky. Yes. Jesus could not see his disciples on the other side of the sea. On the other side of the sea. And then when he took them on the other side of the sea, he could not see them. Mm -hmm. And Jesus called out to them and said, it is, it is I, don't be afraid. Yes. They didn't know who Jesus was. Jesus was walking on the water. And look at Peter. Peter said unto him, Lord, forbid me to come to you. Yeah. Jesus said, come on. Mm -hmm. See, we got to keep faith. We got to have trust in Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. When Peter came to Jesus on the water, Peter was walking on the water just yeah. like Jesus. Uh, yeah. But Peter flew right in and took his he took his mind off of Jesus and he started watching the wind, trying to see the wind and the waves coming down, and he went to sinking. We talking about love now. Watch this show. We talking about love. When, 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 Jesus, when Peter went to sinking, Jesus stretched out his hand. And he pulled him up out of the water. And he saved him. What, what Peter said, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. And then why, why, why did why did you trust me? <laughs> Jesus asked Peter, why did you trust me? And you know you was going to lose faith. Why did you trust me? I guess Peter wanted to say, well, I tried, Lord. Lord, I tried. No matter what you say or what, no matter what you do to me, Lord, you know I tried to come to you like I asked you to. But man, <clears throat> give up every now and then. Right. But God never give up on us. I don't care what you do in life, God does always love us. Amen. He gonna always love us. He's a good God. He's a loving God. He's a kind God. And his disciples wished him. They say his disciples came after that and they wished him and said, Truly, that this is the Son of God. Truly, he is the Son of God. So we're trying to let you know that God is God and God is God all by himself. If anybody tell you there's another God that, that, that sits high and looks down low, I can't see that God. I know my God is above all gods. And he's talking about the, the boys. He said, boys, let's go fishing. Peter said, let's go fishing. Them boys went and, and went to the fish pond. And they fished all night long. After they fished all night long, Jesus came to them on the other side of the shore and said unto them, he said, you fished all night long. And boys, you haven't caught anything yet. I'm showing you what Jesus loved, how Jesus showed his love toward him. And he said, you fished all night long and you hadn't caught one little fish yet. They said, no. They replied, no. He said, you know what? Catch your net on the right-hand side of the boat. And them boys catch that net on the right-hand side of the boat, and they begin to pull. They begin to pull, and they, 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 they just trying to pull, and all the, other, all the other fishermen had to come and help them up. The net was full. Now, just think about they fished all night long and didn't catch one of them fish. But when Jesus came by, he stood by the shore, and he told this, catch your net on the other side. I tell you, he's an on-time God. He's an on-time God. He stood and he told them boys, he said, drop that net. And when they dropped that net, them fish went right on in there. Yeah. Even the fish command God, Jesus, to do what he wanted them to do. Right. Ain't God all right? Yeah. 
God is a good God. He's worthy to be praised. Yeah. I say love will bring uh, a dancing daughter back home. Yeah. Love will bring a gambling son back home. Yeah. I say, ain't God all right? Yeah. You know we need love each and every day of our life. Yeah. Jesus said, for God so loved the world yeah. that he gave his only begotten son. Yeah. That whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Ain't God all right? mocked him and said unto him now crucify him crucify him Jesus showing love he said father forgive them for they know not what they do ain't God alright this morning he walks with us y'all he talks with us he tells us that we is his own preach, ain't God alright yeah. love I'll make you do right now preach. Yeah, it's okay.